Grendel time. This is my last weekend with the 6.5 Grendel. I'm gonna be saying goodbye to this caliber. Um, I really wanted to build a new AR with the uh, new caliber that I'm gonna be messing with, but I can't seem to find components because it's, yeah, 2021. And uh, I can't find the upper that I want, can't find the lower that I want, can't find the handguard that I want. So the 6.5 Grendel barrel is probably the least that I've been using in the past year. And it's so close to the Creedmoor, there's really no point in me having that. Plus I wanna save the bullets uh, for my Creedmoor. So I'm basically gonna be swapping this whole system out, uh, changing out the barrel for my new caliber. So I just wanna make sure, I did some mathematics on an Amazon box upstairs since uh, I've had this worked on a little bit. And I think I'm gonna be close. I'm sighting in only at 25 yards here and I'll record uh, from this location. And I need it to splash about two inches low. And if we're two inches low here, then I will take it out to 100 and it should be close to the 100 yard mark. And I'll be using my middle finger to aim with. There we go. I'm going to aim at the bottom corner, left corner of the box. All right, let me go measure that. I definitely need to come over, but man, that is about two inches. Yeah, let me just adjust it to the left, and I'm going to go out to 100 yards now. So I forgot to mention to you guys, not only am I getting a new barrel uh, for this build in the system, this is the Hornady 100 AMAX. I'm going to be switching over to the um, 99 grain hammer bullets here. I've got one more Hornady in there, and then we're going to give this guy a go, because this is what I'm going to be hunting with tonight. Um, but I'm also going to be getting a new thermal. I haven't decided if I'm going to sell this one or maybe raffle it off. You guys comment below and what, uh, and if I raffle it off, I think I just give you guys like $10, $20 submissions. I need to make a minimal of 3000. I think this thing originally was around 4,005, 4,007 in there. It's a uh, two and a half years old warranty. I think it's still good for another uh, three to six months onto it. No issues with this thing's absolutely clear as you guys have seen in the video. So uh, let's quit yapping and take this shot at a hundred yards here. I'm glad you zoom in one. All right. I need to get a sling for this. I typically don't aim dead center, but I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, this time. I can't get a visual. I don't think I'm going to be able to see that little bullet with this guy. Nah, let's go for a walk. And since I know you're going to ask, yes, I'm going to be selling the barrel on the Grendel. It's a AR stoner that's 24 inches long. It's got to have 90, 95% life on it still. I've shot less than 250 rounds through this thing. That's why I'm selling. I'm just not using it uh, the way I should be. So, uh, yeah, I can live with that. I'm going to go up uh, maybe two clicks. That could have just been me too, but I'm going to go ahead and go up two clicks and then... Um, one to the left and i think we'll be good later that afternoon i set up for an evening coyote hunt i hunted two different locations with no success i came home to take care of the dogs and after feeding them i looked outside with my pulsar axion xm30 and saw heat signature by the pond we have a lot of deer that feed in this area i stepped on the side of the house i waited to confirm that it was a coyote with my Fleur 736 thermoset pro and we'll pick up the action from here With one well-placed shot, this coyote got anchored. Sorry I didn't get the audio, but the coyote's down. This dude was literally on the shoreline. I'm gonna guess he was getting some water or something. Not as big as I thought he was. Man, look at the length of that tail. Thing is massive. Oh, talk about shot placement. Shawink. That uh, hammer 99 grain hunter bullet dropped him. What'd he do to his mouth? Did he break his jaw? That's weird. Look at that. The next day, I did some work around the property. I decided to only hunt one time on the north side. I believe I saw a coyote in the tree line, but he never came out into the open. After calling for 45 minutes, I called it a night, or so I thought. Just looked over the deck, and we've got a beaver down on the pond. There are no-no here, so let's go get him. Grendel time. No. 
tail recovery issues. Yeah, see his tail right there? That's a long tail. Oh, don't do that. No. No. Don't sink. Come on. Yeah, we're good. My buddy Sean's been wanting a pelt, so I'll get, get that uh, beaver to him. We've got another one right here. In the water. I need to wait till he gets on the shoreline, though. sink. Dang it. He's dead. There's his paw. Oh, man. Bummer. Should have waited another second. That is a nice size beaver. Like the size of his paws. This should be fun to get. I brought a hoe with me in order to swim this guy out. Let me see if I can get this on video. Yeah, this is a good beaver. Oh, gosh. Ooh, his teeth. Look at his teeth here. Look at that. That's awesome. These things are so silky. I don't know if you've ever touched these things. Look at that shot placement, man. That is a perfect heart shot. That's why he dropped. I wish I would have gotten the other one. Look at that tail. Let me get this guy dried off. I really want to get a hog down before I take apart the 6.5 Grendel. There's been a hog that's been visiting this one location. The fog was absolutely horrendous. I'm going to use this as a teaching moment for thermals. I like to find a focal point on the distant horizon to keep me centered. This is the view from my thermal handheld monocular. Here's the same view with my Flora 736 Thermosite Pro. I stayed out until I was completely soaked by the humidity. Unfortunately, the hog did not show up. The Hammer 99 Green Hunter bullet dropped this coyote at 160 yards, impacting him at 2,432 feet per second, delivering 1,300 foot-pounds of energy. The first beaver at 60 yards was hit at 2,626 feet per second, delivering 1,516 foot-pounds of energy. The unrecovered beaver at 60 yard was struck at 2,676 feet per second, delivering 1,574 foot-pounds of energy. This was an awesome way to send off the 6.5 Grendel. I literally got confirmation today that my barrel is on the way. Comment below on what caliber you think I'm I'm getting into and stay tuned for my next adventure. <laughs> <laughs>